Hi and welcome back in this series of lesson on Lots of Speech. My name is Arsha Dayu. In this video, I'll teach you adverbs and different types of adverbs. And I will also teach you how to avoid some common mistakes that students make uh, when using adverbs. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you like the video. And share this video with your friends, families and other people as well. Now let's uh, head right straight to the presentation. So what are adverbs? Well, an adverb is a word or a set of words that uh, modifies verbs, adjectives and other adverbs. It tells when, where and how an action is performed or indicates the quality or degree of the action. Many adverbs end in ly, but some words which end in ly, such as friendly, are not adverbs. Many, uh, many words can be both adverbs and adjectives according to their activity in the sentence. Now let's see with some examples in sentences. Well, the first example is, Robin is always hungry for success. Well, the word always is an adverb. I love her very much. Very much is an adverb. He is running fast. So the word fast is an adverb. Alex works hard. So the word hard is an adjective. Sorry, adverb. He wrote that willingly. The word willingly is an adverb. So adverb clauses and adverb phrases are clauses and phrases that modify the verbs, adjectives or other adverbs in the sentence. For example, he ran toward the bus until he was tired. So you see that until he was tired is an adverb clause. He came carrying his box with two hands. So the word carrying his box with two hands is an adverb phrase. We were panicked without any reason. So you see that without any reason is an adverb phrase. Now let us look at the types of adverbs we have. We have conjunctive adverbs, sentence adverbs, adverbs of time or frequency, adverbs of place or direction, adverbs of degree, and adverbs of manner. All right. Now let us look at uh, conjunctive adverbs. So well, what are conjunctive adverbs? A conjunctive adverb connects phrases or independent clauses. It provides transitions between ideas and shows relationships. Conjunctive adverbs are also called connectors. For example, it rained last night. Nonetheless, the final match has not been cancelled. So the word nonetheless is a conjunctive adverb. We are still confused however if the umpires will come so the word however is a conjunctive adverb last season there was a great drought consequently we could not grow crops so the word consequently is a conjunctive adverb now let us look at sentence adverbs a sentence adverb starts the sentence and modifies the whole sentence for example hopefully we will win the match so word the word hopefully is a sentence adverb which is modifying the whole sentence here apparently so the word apparently again is a sentence adverb which is actually modifying the entire sentence apparently the sky is getting cloud sorry cloudy Certainly, I did not think of coming here. So the word certainly is a sentence adverb which is modifying the entire sentence. Now let us look at adverbs of time or frequency. Adverbs of time and frequency indicate time or frequency of the action in the sentence. They answer the question when and how frequently is the action performed. For example, always, never, often, eventually, now, frequently, occasionally, once, forever, seldom, before, Sunday, Monday, 10 a.m., 
12 p.m., etc., are common adverbs of time or frequency. Let's see with some examples in sentences. I went to school a little late yesterday. So, a little late yesterday is uh, our, our adverbs of time and frequency. He always gets a good result. So, the word always is adverbs of time. I will leave Monday. So, the word Monday is an adverb of time. He smokes occasionally. Again, occasionally is, is an adverb of time. Now, let us look at adverbs, adverbs of place or direction. Well, adverbs of place or direction that indicate place or direction of the action in the sentence, they answer the question, where is the action performed? So, for example, across, over, under, in, out, through, backward, there, around, here, sideways, upstairs, in the park, in the field, in that place, etc. are some common adverbs of place or direction. For example, I went through the jungle. So the word through the jungle is an adverb of place or direction you can say. He plays in the field. So the word in the field is the adverb of place. Alex is going to school. So to school is an adverb of place. He is staying at my home. So the word at my home is an adverb of place. Now let us look at ad adverbs of degree here. Adverbs that express the importance or degree or level of the action in the sentence are called adverbs of degree. They answer the question, how much is the action performed? For example, completely, nearly, entirely, less, mildly, most, thoroughly, somewhat, excessively, much, etc. are common adverbs of degrees. Now let us see with examples and sentences. She completely forgot about her anniversary. So the word completely is an adverb of degree. I read the newspaper thoroughly. So the word thoroughly is an adverb of degree. It is it, it actually it is actually indicating how much. I am so excited about the new job. So the word so is an adverb of degree. Robin hardly studies. So the word hardly is an adverb of degree. Now let us look at adverbs of manner. Adverbs that express the manner or approach or process of the action in the sentence are called adverbs of manner. Uh, they answer the question how is the action performed? Um, so for example, beautifully, equally, thankfully, carefully, handily, quickly, wholly, hotly, resentfully, earnestly, nicely, tirelessly, etc. are common adverbs of manner. These adverbs usually end in ly. Let's see with uh, examples in sentences. Let's divide the prizes equally. So the word equally is the adverb of manner. Please handle the camera carefully. So the word carefully is an adverb of manner. Mike is walking slowly. So the word slowly is an adverb of manner. He is running fast. So the word fast is an adverb of manner. All right. So having said this, we have completed all the verbs, all the adverbs. And uh, if you have any confusion or if you want to know more about it, you can let me know. Uh, you let me know uh, in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you there. And uh, if you are new to our video, uh, if you're new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you like the video. Please share this with your friends, families, and other people as well. 
Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care and bye for now.